usually not up this late. It's like 12.30. Usually I'm asleep by now. But I just, I don't know. I guess because could be from the small couple hour nap that I took earlier today. I'm not 100% sure because I did take one. I normally don't, but I took one because I had a headache. And a lot of times going to sleep will help them. So that's what I did. And it helped <clears throat> to a point. Took a little bit more medicine. And then, come on, let's go this way. And eventually it went away. But, yeah, I'm usually not up to sleep because of the fact that I got to work. And even though I live 30 minutes away from my job, still got to get up about 5. 5.30 ish and cause my dad comes and gets me right around like 6 close to 6 so it really depends but I usually don't want to be like really tired so I just try to go to sleep between 10 and 11 there's the moon it's actually really chilly today I'm surprised Usually, I'm well, not really surprised. It's more the fact that I'm tired of this crap. <laughs> I mean, it's, there's no snow on the ground anymore. You can clearly see that. I hardly did anything anyway. I just wanted to come out here and walk him real fast because... <clears throat> how can I put it? Why not, you know? Why not just go along and walk in real fast and whatnot? But I do know I find it strange that here comes somebody probably on a turn. Yep, they're going to turn right in here. Where are you taking me, Rocky? It's not like it's strange. I mean, anybody can come, you know, in and out whenever they want to. But where I stay at isn't exactly uh, the best place in the world. There's some really sketchy ass people around here. And that's no exaggeration. I mean, I'm not scared of nothing. It's more the fact that it's just that's the territory. This is not an apartment, so it's like a studio apartment, but not. But it's just like, it's not the sketchiest area I've ever been in, but still has people coming in and out so they can get their fix. <laughs> And all that. But I, I know that the, I don't know, right around Christmas time, somewhere around there, I don't know exactly when, it was right around when I was six. So it, it was somewhere in, around that time. I had walked him around two, three o'clock in the morning, somewhere around that area. And random guy came out that door, the back door. <clears throat> and a guy was coming in at the same time. And then, uh, as that happened, he kind of, he was trying to come in. He opened up the door. I come out and then he follows me. I walk this way and then I walk to the left. And then I get a little bit past the dumpsters. <laughs> and then he just randomly sits there and goes up to the edge of the building and just like do you partake and I'm like no I do not partake and he's like oh I didn't mean it like that and I was like what the fuck 
It's like three o'clock in the morning. And you're asking me if I partake. What What do you think is gonna run through my mind if you're gonna ask me what do I partake? Yeah, I'm gonna think that you're talking about drugs. But I didn't see him again after that. It is what it is. Those people just parked, but. I don't know. Drop somebody off. They're about to go. Driving off. Did you drop somebody off here? So, either they live here or they're getting stuff. But I don't know. Don't care. <clears throat> I do know last night I was, uh, dog's not gonna allow me but I was over there by this beamer over there and it was over by the door I was waiting for my fiance and uh, Rocky to come outside and some random dude wasn't even doing nothing to his car wasn't even looking at it and he just calls out the window better not touch that car better get away from that fucking car there's a camera. I'm like, I'm not even doing anything to your fucking car. I'm literally sitting here waiting. Shove your car up your ass. He didn't say anything afterwards. But it's just like, he, he if he would have came at me in a respectful way, then I wouldn't have said what I said. But he didn't. He came at me in an asshole way. And that sound, I don't know if you heard it, but it's the sound of the door alarms. Somebody left the door open too long. But, yeah, if you come at me in a respectful way, then I'm going to come at you in a respectful way. I've always believed in, <clears throat> um, I respect you, you respect me until I'm disrespected and then I disrespect you. I don't give a shit. I'm a grown ass man, you're gonna talk to me how I'm supposed to be talked to, not in a disrespectful manner. But that's just my opinion. I mean, everybody's gonna think differently. I'm all rocky. It's a little chilly out, so. I'm not staying out here very much longer. Come on, dude. But yeah, that's just me. I respect people until they disrespect me.